think it's time to do something a little bit different here. Um, as a bunch of you may know from my last video, I'm, I'm partnering with a prop firm to help train and, and recruit traders. Um, they're going to be fully funded and we're going to manage their risk and, and uh, take on all of that. Um, and one of the things that, uh, that prop firms like this do is they start you off with a very tiny risk so you can't really get the firm itself in too much trouble. Um, so I've actually requested that risk that's going to start off at $30 um, and I'm going to record uh, every trade and we're going to see how I do with a risk that small. Um, so the first part of trading with a firm like this is to get a larger risk and how you do that is it takes, it has a math equation where it takes the, uh, the highest, um, sorry, it takes the last 10 days of trading and removes the worst two days. And that's your average risk. So if you make, you know, thirty to fifty dollars a day on average, it's going to up your risk from thirty to fifty. And you know, if you're making a hundred or so on that, it will up to a hundred, and then two hundred, three hundred, you know, up to thousands if, if you get that good. Um, so we're going to see how that works. So I've got my screen set up uh, a little bit different because this is now for discretionary trading. I have my other screen set up entirely for robotic trading on another account. Um, so we can do this experiment together. So uh, what I'm going to be watching throughout the day is essentially just the RBI and GBI scanners. Um, and I'm going to be looking to scalp maybe 10 or 20 cents out of these uh, consistently pretty much throughout the day. Now it is a Friday, it is a summer Friday, so I certainly won't be risking any money after uh, about um, one or two. Um, but until then, uh, this is my game plan. So again, as I would recommend to all the traders that are coming under the firm and anybody who has like a really small risk that's really starting out, is I would say, listen, you need one strategy and that's it, just one. And then you need to go from that one strategy to many strategies, um, implementing more and more so you can have more low risk trades throughout the day. But for now, we're gonna start with just one strategy and we're gonna record all trades for uh, maybe Friday through next week. Um, so you can see the ups and the downs and, and the wins and the losses. Um, if I'm not around, hit the record button, I will do a wrap up at the end of the day. Um, so again, this is, it might be a little interesting experience of how to grow from a small risk, a tiny risk actually, risking only like $30 a day, to hopefully something that you could uh, swing a bit of size in and, and, and make a bit of actual money. So. I'll put you on pause for about an hour or about a half hour before the market opens. So I'm going to do my research. Um, the only thing I think I'm going to watch off the bat is this Western Digital. Um, we've moved from 41 up to 51, um, and we've put in kind of this three candle pattern that we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, we're failing to kind of take this this recent high here and here. And then if we look on the intraday chart, we can see that that support here, support here, support here, support here, support here, support here. So if I do anything right off the bat, it will probably only be 50 to 25 shares, but it will be shorting this Western Digital uh, under this support area. So here on Trade Ideas, I'm able to put out a price alert. I actually need to delete this one. That was for yesterday. Um, I don't know why it's not deleted, but anyway. Um, so what it will do is it will actually flash and then make a noise and pop up a little box when this area is broken so that I can, uh, regardless of what I'm watching in the morning, it will bring me back to that. So I hope that works and uh, I'll let you know when we start trading. So I guess the first thing to note is just um, when you're trading with this small of a stop and you're trading this small size and you know, if I'm risking $30 a day, I'm looking to make that or $50 a day, and, and that'll be about it. Um, the morning's going to be a bit too nuts for you. You know, I'm um, just watching everything going on in the morning. We're bopping around uh, pretty, pretty crazily. So uh, when you're trying to avoid volatility and you're trying to avoid, uh, you know, get hurt too much. Uh, use the morning as an information gathering session, right? You don't need to trade. There's a lot of people who tell you that that's the only time to make money. Um, I disagree. Uh, I think that it, it can be if, if you're good at that. I'm personally not. And at the same time, with this much of a stop, it'd be very easy for something to go 20, 30 cents against me and, and uh, end my day before it 
starts. So I will be sitting, watching, and observing for the first little bit. Okay, guys. So the first trade from this, um, I actually missed the entry, but I'll explain it here. And it's not really my own. I got this from a uh, chat room I hang out in, uh, greatstockpicks.com. Uh, bought some OPTT at 71 and I just got out at 91 so a little bit too early on that um, essentially was just looking for a break of this doji handle on this very strong stock um, I just wanted to get a little bit of cushion under my belt uh, so um, I offered it out before the whole number at 5 um, so again this I can't really explain the call too much other than you know, you can see it's a very strong stock yesterday. Uh, it was holding the better part of that range today. Um, pulled back a bit in the morning, taking it as it popped through. But you can see I'm out here way too early. But uh, so again, that that call was not mine. That was from uh, GreatStockPicks.com. I'll put a link in the description. But I've been hanging out there for ten years almost now. So uh, really good calls, really good community. So I'll get back to you on the next one. sell off to break the support level and now we've been rallying up to it pretty strong. If we look at the market here, it's been weak all morning. So I've entered again just 50 shares because we're not trying to risk that much. Um, up into this resistance, I'll probably give it, I'll say 20 cents or so. Uh, so $10, half of the first trade's total risk. Um, and look to see if we can, if we kind of nailed the top of the pullback maybe. Um, let's see. Again, we were looking at this running straight up into this resistance area here, and it was struggling. We noted the support here, and here, and here, and here, all in this area. So we broke it early, too early for me to trade. It was too wild and crazy and volatile. Um, we bounced back up into it, so I'm hoping that this would be the top of the bounce. If it's not, then uh, I know my risk is, again, half of what we've already made this morning. The other thing that I, I think is awesome about this uh, particular firm that I've, I've started um, you know, partnering with for the teaching and everything is if you look, my gross profit is $20 and my net profit is $20.38. So I have, because I've added liquidity on all of my trades, um, I'm making money on commissions. I'm not paying anybody on commissions, which I think is really cool. Now, you know, this looks like it might stop us out and I will remove to get out of that position and that will um, obviously cost commissions, but it's just neat to see um, when a firm's not trying to make money off you with commissions, right? When they're just passing through whatever the exchanges give them. So, so okay, the stop, I like that. I like that we pushed up into the 70s and we rejected from it. So I'm going to make my stop, I think, 80. Um, and I'll put you on pause and I'll let you know how this trade goes. Okay guys, we're back here on WDC. We're just looking to exit here for a loss. Uh, it's just not working out. So there we go, and I'm out. Um, so, uh, one winner for $20, one loser for about 9 You can see that we did get the pullback from that area that I expected. Uh, then we just immediately bounce through. So um, could still be right on this one, but it's one of those that when you're in a winner like that, you certainly don't want to have it reverse and become a large loser. Uh, so I'm just kind of I'm out, and I'm going to stay out. We're looking at this uh, COG here. some support. 
for here on the daily. Uh, this is not much of a mover. I'm going to try to get, I believe, um, oh, only 15 cents or so on this, get it before the whole number. Uh, my risk is just going to be up uh, a little under, a little over 10 cents away. So, um, this real quick. So, one thing that you'll you'll know while I'm doing this is I'm in much more of a scalp mode than my previous trading videos, and that's essentially just because uh, with this style of trading, everything needs to be tighter, right? So you're talking tighter losses, and then tighter losses, you need to shoot for tighter gains to keep the uh, to keep your odds up in your favor. Um, so again, the goal is certainly not to make money when you're only risking thirty dollars a day. The goal is to increase that that uh, that risk. So to you know have a good day, and then maybe a little better day the next day, a little better day the next day, and um, you know one bad day every now and then. And hopefully by the end of that, you've done the uh, the numbers required to apply for an increased stop loss, and then you can trade a little bigger, and so on and so forth. And then this is a good way not only for people who are trading with this kind of firm to trade, but everybody, I would say. You know, there's there are people who were looking at the firm and when we told them, okay, well, you know, you're gonna go paper trading, and when you go paper trading, you're gonna start off with small amounts of money, uh, it got really upset, oh, how am I gonna make money like this? You know, I need to risk a thousand dollars a day or something like this. Um, and the answer to that is simple. If you can't come in and make ten dollars a day consistently with you know, 50 to 100 shares, you can't make $100 with 500 to 1,000 shares, right? You can't make $1,000 with, you know, you're talking 5,000 to 10,000 shares. Um, the numbers are just that. They're just numbers. They're relative. Uh, the fact that we can trade sub-100 lots means that you can trade whatever size you want. If you want to train to trade 250 shares, just trade 25 shares now. You know, knowing that when your stop loss increases, you can go to 250 shares. Um, start small, regardless. You know, there's a lot of people who, oh, how am I going to uh, uh, feed my kids or pay my mortgage or whatever, risking $30 a day. But you're not. Um, and unless you're a proven professional trader, you know, you have a, a proven back record or a proven strategy, and you've actually done it for months after months, months after months. Uh, you're not going to do that with um, you're not going to do that with more shares. You know, more shares is more stress. This is very very low stress trading. You know, I'm up 11 bucks and that's great. And, you know, but it's not affecting emotionally. With the higher you go, the more emotional effect you'll have, and the bigger problems you'll have. So again, if you can't trade small, you can't trade big. So. Um, keep that in mind. Again, if, you, if you're just starting trading and you're not even trading with us or with a prop firm, you should do the same thing. You should start very tiny. Um, you should understand that if you're trading retail, that commissions will eat up any profits. And be fine with that, right? Just put wins under your belt and then grow from that positive place. So back on pause, go. I'll show you how this trade goes and if anything else happens kind of along the way. You can see this orange line is where my stop was put. Uh, we came up to it and we just couldn't break through. I was watching the tape and it just wasn't working, wasn't working, wasn't working. So I just added a additional 100 shares. So we're short 200 there. Um, essentially just because I knew my stop was one or two pennies away, I was willing to risk an extra dollar or two on the position. Um, and. Uh, I missed, I had an exit at 06, you can see my order waiting here at 06, and we came down to 07 and bounced, so probably what I'll do is just watch it for a little bit and see how it's trading. Uh, you can see the market is weak, so I kind of want to be a bit patient with it. Uh, at the very least, yeah, I won't let it cost me any money, um, but if we can get a 
pushed in on. That would be fantastic. That would get me to near the two times uh, risk that I was looking for today. Um, and that's about it so far. It's been a slow day, but you know we're talking mid-July on a Friday. So I honestly don't expect too, too much action. So that's why I've got this kind of soft target in my head that would uh, signify the uh, the end of a trading day would be this this double risk. <clears throat> you know, because if I can do that fairly consistently with the math equation I explained earlier, then I could double my risk uh, starting next week, and I can start to trade bigger, and so on and so forth. So anyway, we'll see what happens. I'll put you guys back on pause and unpause if, if there's another trade or if this trade please.
let's just go through the trades. First trade was OPTT. And again, this was just got from uh, greatstockfix.com. And I'm not going to talk about this very long because it's very embarrassing. I got in and then I got out around the four. And then you can see that it went up to 10. So um, let's just skip by that. I don't want to. I don't want to talk about that. Next was uh, WDC. And we got WDC off of this, uh, this scan. Should be down here somewhere. Maybe. Don't know. WDC. Oh, okay. No, sorry. I got this off of, I was looking at this in the morning. Um, even before the market opened, I was checking this one out. And uh, you can see that it it had gone up a bunch. And uh, just one moment here. Um, I'll scroll back and I'll show you. This pink line is where I put in. You can see that the, it had been support many, many times since the gap up. We had the gap up, support here, support on these two areas, support here. And then we broke this morning. And then when we bounce back into support here, my bet was that it may come resistance. So it took a little short here. We did get about a 20, 25 cent move in our direction. Um, I was just not quick enough to take it or I was being too greedy. So that's something I will note going forward. It's important when you do these wrap ups, which you should every night, that you're learning from them, that you're doing something to grow from them. So this, the note in my head is, you know, become defensive quicker. You know, if you get a 25 cent move in your direction, there's no reason that this this one here should have cost me. But it came back up by the time I got out, it uh, cost me eight bucks. Um, so next was COG. And we got COG from, in fact, if I click on this, it should put us, give us an arrow. I can find it here. And this is a, uh, a canned trade idea scan. If you have trade ideas at all, uh, you just get these scans, these RBIs and GBIs. And again, I explained the setup on a video passed on my channel, and you can see it put in the arrow there, of basically it's looking for a trend and then a failed bounce in that trend, just like these are looking for the opposite, this green one up here. Right, so basically I want to see it sell off, I want to see the buyers come in, and then I want to see the buyers quickly fail. So we took a short here. Um, my stock was actually just, I think about 35 or 36 up in this area. And you, we came to it and we kept testing and testing and testing. So I actually added 100 shares near the stock, knowing that you know where I added and the stock was only a couple cents apart. And you can see we bled down most of the day. I got out most of my position here, and then I think I got the rest out here. So not a huge mover, but uh, a pretty good trade and the bulk of our profits today. Uh, the last position was MYCC, which we got from, I'm just going to start clicking on these. We got from right here. So you can see it puts in the little arrow. I noticed that we had ran up, we gapped up. And uh, we had tested this area, this uh, 1475, which had been resistance quite a few times in the past. And then we put in again, so we have a downtrend. These are 15 minute bars as well. So um, if I put it on ones, you would see that the trend is more predominant than it looks here on 15. But we have a known hour and 15 minute, hour and a half downtrend. Then the buyers come in, and when the buyers fail, I take a short below. Assuming, knowing that if, if I was trading this pullback, I would buy it, and then if we continued lower, that's where my stock would be. So that's basically what we're looking for, is the people who bought this stock, expecting it to continue higher. When it fails and they get out, then we get a sell-off lower. Just scalp that for, I think, 10 or 11 cents. Um, and then that was it. That was all I did for the day. So uh, just to... You know, go on the, the tips, and then this video will be sent out to all the, the new traders of the firm, um, and you know anyone else who's just interested in learning. This might be a really good starting part as a 
a trader 101. You know, if you if you don't want to risk a lot of money, you just want to risk a hundred bucks or something any given day, something like this is great for you, right? Where you you notice that my screen here is very simplistic. You know, I have of course my other account that you know from trading actual size in and the robotic account that trade ideas is making trades for me without me doing anything. But this is very simple. You know, I've decided that I'm going to trade these two setups. Um, I know they work. They're built into trade ideas. Um, a, a friend of mine actually convinced them to build them in, showing how, how good they were and how consistent they were. Um, so these are two things that I know work. They're very slow. You can, you know, this one just for me to make my 10 cents took 45 minutes. Um, Cog took all day. So these are very slow trades, uh, which is perfect when you're trying to manage your risk as tightly as I am. You can, you have the time to calculate your risk. You have the time to calculate your position size. You're not firing off the hip. Everything's nice and slow and easy. So. Um, so I'm limiting myself, and we'll just go through my setup real quick, right? This is my open orders. This is my water, tracking my positions. One level two in time and sales, just for order entry. Uh, this is the great stock fix chat room, and here are my two scams. And this is all I'm doing all day. Is every time these print off, I'm just clicking on it and then evaluating, evaluating the chart, right? Click on it and evaluating the chart. You can see I have one 15 minute chart and one daily chart. Here I have just the SPY on 15s. And here is just a high low ticker. So this is showing us the green line is showing us the new highs for the day, and the red line is showing us the new lows for the day. So we can see, you know, that we had a lot of new highs here, and then we the new lows kind of picked up and, and beat the new highs. So it's it's a way to kind of monitor flow. I'm really looking down here at the bottom where I can see um, if I see just red streaming by, I know that there's a lot of selling coming into the market. If I see green streaming by, so it's just kind of a, a little subconscious indicator. And that's it. So you can see there's no no crazy indicators, no crazy lines, no nothing. Um, could I be trading a lot more, right? Could I be bringing in some of these back-tested setups that I'm trading on my other account? Um, for sure, I, I certainly could. But for the purposes of this experiment, where I'm just trying to take a very small risk on every trade, you know, 10 to $15 risk on every trade, and trying to slowly grow that out into being able to take more and more risk as the, as the firm allows it, um, I think it's very, very important that we stick with two very slow, very simple strategies. Use our eyes as traders to make sure we're trading um, on the side of the market and just scalping out little bits of money here and there, right? So we're gonna start with a win. You know, after we get five or six of these days, hopefully in a row, again, minus your worst two, uh, then my risk will step up. You know, maybe it steps up to 60 or $100. Now I say, okay, well, now maybe it's time to size up. That is one option. Another option is to let in more, uh, more setups. You know, let in more um, ideas. You know, start bringing in these these back tested, um, these back tested algorithms, things like this. But um, yeah, for now, that's a, a good start. I will try. No promises. <laughs> I will try to capture all next week's trading as well. Um, I don't know how much further I'll be able to go from that. It's, it's mildly distracting. It's not huge, but it's mildly distracting. So um, if you guys enjoy this kind of video, again, share it around, let me know. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm kind of shouting into the abyss, so it's good to know uh, when people share it around um, that, uh, that you know things are being received well. Um, for trade ideas, if you want to mimic this strategy, you want to mimic these scans, uh, there's a link down below that will be 15% off. Uh, you need the uh, advanced package, and then all you do is you go into new, and they're right down here, the RBI, GBI type setup. So um, that'll be it for today, and I'll see you guys on